I'm T Payne from impatientprogrammer.net. This is PySide and PyQTQ dialogues in three minutes. A dialogue is when someone starts to talk to you and then you cut them off and you threaten them and you threaten their dog mittens and you threaten their cactus Jeffrey and you offer them a pair of cinder block shoes. That is a dialogue, capiche? Goodness, that got intense fast. I don't know where that came from. Q dialogues are simple one purpose pop up windows. Dialogues can be a message, error warning, file navigation, an installation wizard, or any number of other things. Dialogues do not have minimize or maximize buttons, but instead have a what's this button in place of them. A modal dialog blocks other windows within the application until this current dialog is completed or canceled. A modalist dialog works alongside the main application and is the default kind of dialog. All right, so here we have a custom dialog example. Everything is identical to our Q widget tutorial with two major exceptions. First, we replace our Q widget with Q dialog. The second is that we added a set what's this call with clever hidden message. If we run our file, notice that the top right icons for minimize and maximize have been replaced with our what's this question mark. To use it, simply click it and click whatever you are curious about. So if I click the main window, we will see our clever hidden message. That's cool, right? Some common functions for queue dialogs. Set modal, which is used to set if the window will be modal or the topmost dialog or not. Set what's this, of course, takes in a string. Set window title, just as before. And that's pretty much it. QT includes some awesome, simple ways to prompt the user with common dialogs. When you install PySide and PyQT, I believe, you'll be provided with the sample code for every variation of common simple dialogs. All you need to search for is the standard dialogs.py file within your Python directory. Here I have that file opened up, and all I'm going to do is just run it. And here we have a huge range of options from file dialogs to queue message boxes and even some input dialogs. So if I want to get an integer, here we go. If I want to get a specific color, we have that. File dialog for getting names, here's that. And you get the idea. Within the file, you can just control F to search for anything that you're looking for. And it's super useful when you're starting out. The only changes you'll need to make when using the qt.py file is replacing qt GUI with uh, Q widgets. Also note that different versions of PyQt and PySide return different things. I address these issues in my tool dev series. All right, now let's look at a simple dialog example. We have all the same code as before. We're keeping this Q dialog from before just so that we can pass it in as a parent to the Q message box that we are creating. And all I've done here is add a simple critical message with the title of plum with the title of plum get that plum out of here put ham in there goodness only ham is delicious and if we run that we have our simple message box popping up that says delicious with a little air x and that's it here are some frequently used common dialogues you have q message box dot about dot critical dot information dot warning and dot question, which create all those. I recommend just testing these out. Also, there is Q file dialog for getting specific files or directories or saving file names. All right, exercises are in the description. If you would like to see a practical application built from scratch, check out my tool development series linked in the description. Thank you to all my wonderful patrons. And as always, like, subscribe, and keep the dream alive.